If the length to be measured is tiny, around several millimeters or less than one millimeter, such as the thickness of this coin, or the diameter of this pen, or the diameter of the screw, or the depth of an object. The ruler is not practical, so we use a vernier caliper for the measurement. A vernier caliper can be divided into several portions. The first is for measurement. This part can be used for measuring the inner length of an object, and the part on top can be used for measuring the diameter of an inner circle of this screw. The measurement can be made by winding up this portion. To measure the depth of an object, we can use this part. The second portion is a scale. The scale is divided into two sections, the upper and lower sections. The upper scales are in inches and seldom used in measurement, while the lower scales are in meters or centimeters and are commonly used. The third portion is this button. When it's pressed, the reading obtained will be locked. Now we try to measure the diameter of this pen. First of all, we place the pen at the lower end of this opening, making sure there is no space or vacancy between the pen and the opening. Take out the pen and lock on the reading. We can then record the reading observed. It is observed that the reading is in between 1.1 to 1.2. This implies that the diameter of the pen is longer than 1.1 centimeters but it is shorter than 1.2 centimeters. Pay attention to the scale below. Note how the line on the lower scale coincides with the line on the upper scale. The reading now is 32, which implies that the diameter of the pen is 1.1 plus 0 0.032 centimeters, which is equal to 1.132 centimeters. Now we try to measure the inner circle diameter of the adhesive tape. Measurement will be made by using this part of the vernier caliper, release the button and place the adhesive tape in the correct position. Set the position and then remove the adhesive tape. The decimal place of measurement is pointing to 3.25 and the reading is 3.290 that is 3.290 centimeters. Finally, we would like to measure the inner depth of this bottle. Insert this part into the bottle and set the position. Lock the reading and we observe that the result is in between 8.1 and 8.2 centimeters. So you check the lower scale and we find the reading is four marks more than 8.1. That is 8.140 centimeters. To identify the precision of this caliper, we take a look on the length represented by the minimum scale. One, two, three, four, five for the scale above, each mark representing one millimeter. And the scale below further divides one millimeter into 50 marks namely from 0 to 90. Divide 1 millimeter by 50 and each mark represents 0 0.02 millimeters, the minimum scale. Be aware that the decimal place of the scale must be matched exactly to the mark. In doing so, only one reading error results, so the maximum possible error is then plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeters. The precision of different vernier calipers may vary. For example, the reading on this caliper is in millimeters and its minimum scale is 0 0.05 millimeters. The maximum possible error of this caliper is then plus or minus 0 0.025 millimeters, which is comparatively larger than the previous one.